Prince George Drive outside the county high school doesn't see many traffic jams. Especially before the sun comes up. The Royals football team has spent a majority of their preseason camp under the lights, waiting for daybreak to find them. Teenagers are used to seeing only one 530 per day. This isn't the one. I didn't see 530 in the morning at practice at all. At all. Yes, sir. Nine, zero. Caleb Watts is a senior getting ready for his fourth and final year with the Royals. A veteran with his experience might bristle at such a drastic change in routine. There we go. Great day to be a great day. High need ready. Watts and his teammates stretch, stretch, stretch. have not only embraced the new schedule, but in a way, they've been asking for it. Bill's character, stability, I mean, makes us a better team. We're disciplined. That's what we need. Coming in and throwing something completely opposite of what they're used to. This is actually our last week of camp, and I think I'm celebrating it being the last week of camp probably more than the kids. What did you have for breakfast? Banana. That's it. Tom Hall is the new head coach at Prince George after spending the last quarter century at Manchester. I'm very proud of our, our program, uh, where we came from, where we are. Get hands up your hips. The early practices and grind will Ready. hopefully make the work they do against each other harder than what they do against opponents when the season starts. We do have been here in three days. I don't even know it. <laughs> yeah, we sent them all. And it helps weed out the lesser willed who might otherwise detract from the task at hand. Uh, a lot of guys kind of, you know, they want to make it easy and quick whistle. That's not us. Set. False step. I mean, we, I want to teach my kids how to compete. I think that's a trait that's been lost in this generation. Winning is important. That's it. That's it. That's awesome. That's a great rep. And I'm old school when it comes to, well, it doesn't matter if you win, as long as you do your best. Well, the, the world's full of people that do their best and never win. And we want to get them past that. I want them there you go. to find ways to win. Paul knows about winning. Over the course of his 25 years with the Lancers, he won 196 games and made the playoffs in each of his last 11 seasons with a state title in 2019. Yeah and a reputation that preceded his arrival with the Royals. I was very excited. I started jumping up and down, honestly, because um, I'm excited it's my senior year, last ride, and I want to go out winning. We have about 80 kids. We had 100 kids show up first week. Uh, that's never happened here. It's a big change, but we're ready for it. This was the hardest summer program I have ever come up with in 35 years of coaching. And I'm thinking, okay, we're going to thin the kids out and we're going to you know, get, get rid of the kids that don't really want to be here or don't need to be here. They kept showing up and they kept working hard. That has been the easy part compared to walking away from the environment he built with the Lancers and the kids he thought of <laughs> as his own. Tough. Still is tough. You spend, um, spend 25 years of your life building a program, raising a kid. I mean, that's what the program is. You're raising a kid. That was tough. My wife and kids took it horribly, but I was fine with it. And, you know, it was, it was a complete leap of faith, complete leap of faith. Um, did not know where I was going to go. I think God put that gut feeling in my, in, in my gut that I got plans for you elsewhere. Even if that elsewhere has no discernible history of success, Hall left a program where he won at least 10 games in seven of his last nine non-COVID seasons. He takes over a team that has never won more than eight games in any season and that has not reached that number in over 30 years. Well, I might be a little crazy, but when, you, when you're called to do something, you don't question it. You know, uh, we're going to be successful. Now, I'm not going to sit there and predict what we're going to be, but we're going to be successful because the kids do too many right things not to be rewarded for it. We're still putting in work every day. We're building 1% better every day. Changing the culture here, and it's gonna wake up a lot of people. Five of Hall's former players and coaches with the Lancers have followed him. The colors couldn't be more different. The goals are still the same.
You know, I want to build those relationships. I want to see these kids come back in 10, 15 years and be great fathers and husbands and successful in life. I mean, that's what coaching's about. Hey,